Like this is something that's breaking right now. Um, a lot of well, people know, they know BET, but uh, behind the scenes, um, because Bob Johnson's the one who started BET, blah blah blah. But he, you know, he was married uh, during that, so he hired uh, Deborah Lee, who eventually took over BET. But yeah, why, I didn't like Deborah Lee. Yeah, but man. while they were both married, they started messing around. Both of them. Yeah, so they both got a divorce, and then they was together for a while. And then she, I guess, wanted to get out of the situation. But he was like, you know, if you're going to leave me, you're going to have to leave BET, too. So now she coming out talking about that. He, like, trapped her and yada, yada. But she knew what she was getting into when they got together. If y'all going to split, she can't stay at BET. They have that. You know I ain't going to lie. Deborah changed BET, bro. For the, for we the had, worst? Yes, know? because I ain't going to lie. You had Rap City. You had rap, you had the basement. Uh, you had 106 in Park. You man, you had you had different rap shows. Big Tigger had the basement. Yeah. Lil Flip went in there handling his business. What's the name? Then what was that? Er, that first one of the first shows with the big boy. Um, uh, you talking about uh, Big Boy? It was uh, they was it hold on, was, hold on. Hold on. I know I was old. Was BT. Before like Rap City, the basement, they kind of started. I yeah, can't think of the name. It was it, it was you talking about it was two people. Yeah, I know what you talking that about big, that big dude. Yeah, I know you. Um, now nah, he had hair. Now. He had yeah, hell, did he? He, blind, he messed up. Uh, is it Doctor Dre? I think maybe has been his name too, or something. Or nah, his name was Dre though, but it wasn't Doctor Dre. He had a little hair. C or no? What's it? Did he yeah. have a little hair? Yeah, yeah. I, but that was the first ones that yeah. they started that show. And that was yeah. the first like big yeah. rap show. You yeah, know, it was. It was. It was. I ain't gonna lie. So he had BET for the right, bro. When she changed BET, homie, she made it. Not a BT for black folks. Yep. She made it a BT to accommodate rich white folks. Yep. I'm being strictly real. She she come she didn't do it for the black folks. So I don't I I don't want to listen to nothing that hooker gotta say. Cause the, the if he was pulling that thing out, she was pulling that dress up. Yep. Straight up. I'm just being 100. So y'all yo, broke yo, even. Yo MTV rap. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, MTV rap. So y'all y'all broke even, bro. Y'all broke even, but I really would want him to get BET back. He had it, man. But Say, man. During her tenure, you know, she sold the MTV. Yeah, who she sell it to? MTV, because MTV was <laughs> what I said. It was like, yo, and I even know that yeah. what I just said during her tenure. That's why you can see the switch. You see that? You you could tell how she talk, how she walk. She's a black color person. With the mind of a, a a rich, selfish white person, yep, facts. I'm not gonna lie to you. you can tell her she disgrace a person. I walk up to her, she stereotyping me. Yeah, she yeah. clutching her purse. She crossing the street. Oh, you, I'm telling you, she getting on her phone straight up. You know what I'm saying? Well, you got some white people that been where I been is kind of successful. It's not even doing it. But she's one of them, the other side of the the white politicians and and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's what she. That's what side she on. So when she got BT, and I'm just looking at her her portfolio, how she doing it? I'm like, man, this woman wrong, bro. This woman wrong. She took our history from us, bro. That's what she did. She took our history from us, bro, and. They seen that MTV seen that and told, "Hey, Deborah, <laughs> made jokes about him giving it to her. You know what I'm saying? Made jokes about, yeah, I give you this probably a little quarter over. Well, let's do it. I don't, I ain't want it no way. I won't go do nothing. Well, that's how they talk about us. That's something that we love. That's something that we grew up on. Every color probably. I'm not talking about the color. I'm talking about the selfish thinking that they think." So if they so much for us, they corrupting our kids, they corrupting people around us with this. But when it was quiet and when it was real us, it was cool. Come on, homie. Thanks for watching. We just hit that 12K subscribers on our way to 13. So make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.